So typically the way that I'll try to get level out of a master is a balance between clipping and limiting. Uh, I generally find that trying to clip alone uh, really kind of gets grindy and adds some distortion, particularly to the low end, uh, and limiting can kind of get smushy. So uh, nine times out of 10, I find that just striking the right balance between the two in that order, clipping first and then limiting, um, helps me get the most level uh, and uh, maintain the original sound of the mix or the sound of my EQ'd mix before trying to get this level. Um, so typically at this point, I'll have gotten an EQ balance that I really like. Um, I'll have some compression going on. Um, so in this particular instance, I have some EQ. Uh, this is another Archibald song. Uh, I have some EQ going on. I have a little bit of compression to control the low end going on. Um, so now I'm just gonna take my initial move to get some level. Um, it's worth mentioning that I'm just gonna go to the loudest part of the song to kind of show it as an example. And typically when I'm working on setting my level, I will start on the louder passages of the song and then work my way backwards from there. Um, so I'm gonna play this without anything on it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna slowly balance in the clipping and the limiting. You'll hear that I'm going to select between two different clipping plugins I have up. Uh, right now I have the AOM limiter that I'm gonna use, but then we'll select between some different limiters. So just from being used to my room and being used to the kind of the impact of different volumes have on me, I feel like in this case, pulling this up 8 dB uh, with the clipper sounds about right to me. Uh, it's important to notice that I'm not doing 8 dB of clipping by any means. I'm just adding 8 dB of gain by way of the clipper. Um, it, the actual amount of clipping that's happening is far less, maybe a few dB at most. Um, so. What I'm gonna do now is I'll toggle between this clipper and another clipper and we'll, we'll pick the one that sounds the best to us. I'm gonna add, this is just the stock clipper that comes with Reaper and I'm going to add the exact same amount of, no, I don't want 80 dB, that would hurt. So now I'm gonna play this with the first clipper I used and I'll toggle between the second one and we'll, we'll pick one. So clearly the built-in Reaper limiter in this case sounds better. Um, I've, I've done this before where that hasn't been the case. The important thing is that you should check it on a case-by-case -case basis and see what really works best for the tune. So I'm going to play this and go through this with just the regular mix and then I'm going to add the clipper which is going to add about 8 dB or exactly 8 dB of gain to the mix and then another 3 dB of limiting on top of that. Um, and, and I have my loudness meter up on the screen now so we can kind of see what volume we're getting up to. Uh, it looks like we're usually hitting about negative six uh, LUFS on the loudness meter, um, which is kind of an arbitrary number, but it's a, it's a pretty good target for a general master. Uh, and we're able to achieve that with this combination without really smashing the life out of the mix. So when I play this and I add these in, you'll see the level kind of going up.
I'm feeling pretty good about that. It's pretty loud, it sounds big, uh, it's not overly aggressive, the low end isn't really smashed, and as a drummer, I'm super happy about the fact that the snare transients are still intact, which is great.